What's up, everybody? It is Frey again, and I can look back, and I can say I kind of fucked my life up. So on the road to becoming a professional artist, I take a look back, and I realize I could have did things a lot better. I've been making comics ever since fourth grade. I've sold at different conventions. I did stage performances in front of thousands of people. I put out various music over the days. I've done YouTube videos for a while now. So why? Why is it that I'm just now gaining a following? And I say that humbly because I've only probably got maybe 20 to 30 like hardcore fans currently. The truth is most of it I can blame myself for. Now I'm doing this video for two reasons. One, because I don't want the artists coming behind me that are younger to fall into the same trap. And two, I believe that owning your mistakes will actually help you out. It gives you like a certain control over your life. If you cause the problem, surely you can think of a way out of the problem. So, I give you my fuck-ups. One, lack of confidence. When I was in fourth grade, I used to make comics with my best friend um, at the time. His name was Rob. So, you know, we're having a great fourth grade year. People are buying our comics for like 50 cents so we can go to like the candy machine and do all that stuff. And I, the blue, he just tells me one day, my drawings suck. You have no idea at that age how that affected me. It affected me so much that all I would do from that point on was doodle. I wouldn't even try to make a comic anymore. I just wasn't feeling it anymore. He took the wind out of my sails at that age. It's only until seventh grade that I met my current best friend, Asim. He looked at my doodles and was like, man, that's amazing. You should be making comics. His encouragement and praise brought me to doing my work again. This also worked against me. Asim and I envisioned making this wonderful comic book company, but because I lacked confidence within myself, I wouldn't make any moves without him. To make my manga at the time, I needed him to write the story. To start selling at conventions, I needed him to get the tables. To get on stage in front of thousands of people, I needed him to do his DJing thing so I could be granted that opportunity. Rather than lacking in confidence in my ability, which, which sucked anyway, to be honest, at the time, I lacked confidence in my leadership ability. This cost me so much because I would just not do anything and just wait for a scene to initiate everything. So when he didn't work on stuff continuously, I didn't work on anything continuously. We would go months, even years of not releasing stuff. Even after performing in front of thousands of people, we went into the shadows and didn't come out with anything for a long time. Looking back, it it's really, it really wasn't fair of me to rely on the scene for everything. It only was, it was an unfair burden that I put on him to carry me throughout things. And it only led me to be anxious and frustrated when he wasn't doing anything. More importantly, I could have initiated a lot more opportunities for myself had I had that confidence within myself. Number two, not getting money slash not using it efficiently. Too many younger artists are I gotta focus on my art. I gotta focus on my craft. And no, I'm not knocking that. I'm not knocking your your willingness to put your all into your art. You should. You definitely should. But you gotta understand there are hundreds, thousands of talented people that don't get anywhere. It's going to be a thing where you're going to have to create these opportunities for yourself. Unless you have some inner connections or you just luck out 
Marvel's not going to come knocking at your door, no matter how skilled you are. So you need to produce some money for yourself. And I don't just mean open yourself up for commissions, not knocking commission, but you're going to need a part-time job. Suck it up and go to McDonald's for a while. In my situation, I worked at a movie theater. However, the money I made was spent on frivolous things. Video games, expensive dinners, alcohol, etc., etc. Because I spent my money on stupid things instead of putting it towards my art, this caused a scene to have to pick up the expenses when we were doing this stuff. And of course that was unfair to him. You have to fund your own dreams to get somewhere. You gotta put money in to get anywhere. I think there's a quote. Can't remember the quote. And if you think about it, in a way it's better. Think about it. A big company is not taking money out of your pockets. You're actually getting out there, selling your own stuff, and you have all the control over it. So that's it for this half of the video. I'm going to upload part two because I got two more reasons that I haven't, I fucked up. There we go. That I fucked up. So I'll see you in part two.